हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल वन अकेडमी आई एम सोमेश उपाध्याय आई एस ऑफिसर यू रैंक थर्टी फोर दिस इज सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ गवर्नेंस इश्यूज लेक्चर एंड वी आर गोइंग टू डील विद वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक कॉल्ड सिटीजन्स चार्टर इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर यू पी एस सी जी एस पेपर टू एंड ऑल्सो इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर योर एस ए वॉट इज सिटीजन्स चार्टर सिटीजन्स चार्टर इज नथिंग बट स्टेटमेंट ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड्स ऑफ सर्विसेज टू बी डिलीवर्ड टू द सिटीजन एनी पब्लिक ऑफिस शुड हैव दिस काइंड ऑफ स्टेटमेंट विच लिस्ट आउट कि वॉट आर द स्टैंडर्ड्स ऑफ सर्विसेज दैट 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 सिटीजन कैन एक्सपेक्ट फ्रॉम दैट पर्टिकुलर पब्लिक ऑफिस किसी भी सरकारी ऑफिस में ये लिख के डालना चाहिए हर किसी के लिए पब्लिक व्यू के लिए कि आप लोग कौन कौन से सर्विस देने वाले हैं सिटीजन को और क्या स्टैंडर्ड होगी उसकी और क्या क्वालिटी होगी सो दैट स्टेटमेंट ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड्स ऑफ सर्विसेज इज कॉल्ड सिटीजन चार्टर इट इज वॉलेंटरी इन नेचर मीन्स द ऑफिस द पब्लिक ऑफिस हैज टू डिक्लेयर इट वॉलेंटरी इट इज नॉट कंपल्सरी नॉट कंपल्सरी बाई लॉ एंड इट इज ऑल्सो रिटर्न डिक्लेरेशन इट्स नॉट वर्बल इट हैज टू बी रिटर्न इट हैज टू पेस्टेड समवेयर इट हैज टू बी पब्लिसाइज then what is the aim of the citizen charter the aim is to make delivery of citizen services citizen friendly transparent and accountable if somebody vis visits a public office he should feel very comfortable so that is called citizen friendly uh, approach of citizen services and whatever services are given should be transparent and there should be accountability in that public office and mind you this is not enforced by law citizen charter ka law mein koi nirdesh nahi hai ki aap citizen charter banayenge hi ye bas ek commitment hai jo public office deti hai aur isse kya hota hai this improves the culture of the organization if an organization if a public office for example municipality knows has displayed the citizen charter and all the officers in that office know what is the citizen charter what is the standard of service they have promised to the citizen then the work culture of the organization is uh, is always going to improve next we'll learn what are what are the components of citizen charter first it should have a vision and mission of the organization which displays the charter विजन एंड मिशन क्या होता है ब्रॉड डिजायर्ड आउटकम्स मीन्स वट डज वट आर द आउटकम्स दैट दैट ऑफिस वॉन्ट्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगेन म्यूनसिपैलिटी वट विल द विजन ऑफ द म्यूनसिपैलिटी टू मेक द सिटी वन ऑफ द बेस्ट लिवेबल सिटीज इन द वर्ल्ड फॉर एग्जाम्पल एंड मिशन इज द इज द स्ट्रैटेजी टू अचीव दोज ब्रॉड डिजायर्ड आउटकम्स नेक्स्ट वॉट आर द Uh, uh, the second component is services offered to the citizens this has to list out what are the types of services and what are the quality of the services that citizens should expect and third most important component is responsibilities of the citizen towards the organization so it is not one way even the citizen has some responsibilities towards the organization and that has to be listed in the citizens charter now we learn the characters of citizen charter what makes up a citizen charter it has number 1 standards of service delivery service delivery jo office degi public ko for example any tehsil office giving service delivery like land related matters or any land related issues uh, or uh, issuing uh, certificates caste certificates birth certificates all of these things these services has to have some kind of standards what are those standards these standards are uh, can be called as smart standards because uh, we'll see s m a r t s for specific now whenever you set standard for service delivery being specific is very important if there is no specificity then there will be frustration confusion and failure for example if somebody says we will try hard to give you this service try hard does not mean anything right it is not specific 
again if somebody says we will very soon do it soon again is not specific you have to give a timeline that is why there are so many right to service uh, acts in many states including bihar where there are time bound service delivery there is time for every kind of service delivery caste certificate lena hai to 15 days this different kind of service has time bound uh, specified time for delivery so it has to be specific next m for measurable which means if a goal has to be achieved it has to be measurable measurable for example if you want to uh, do well in exams then the measure is the marks so unless there is a measuring uh, cap- capability in that service delivery standard it won't be the goal won't be achieved so that is why the standards have to be measurable the then a for attainable attainable means whatever is possible realistic if the goals are not realistic then they will not be attained why for example if you decide that today in one day you will complete lakshmi kan is it possible to do it it is not possible it is unrealistic goal and that is why it will also demotivate you you think are it possible hai nahi then why even try so that is why attainable goals must be set then r for relevant this the goals that are set for the service delivery the standards that are set must be relevant to the both service provider which means the public office and the user which means citizen and last t is time bound again every service has to have a limited time period within which it has to be delivered if it is not time bound then the uh, the achievement of that goal is delayed and which means the organization fails to perform efficiently next character is being open about all the information so again that you remember from the previous lecture how transparency is so important and for transparency you need to keep all the information as far as possible open to public viewing how that can be done disclosure in legible understandable language about service levels and standards to be expected so the citizen charter is a written document in that document you have to write it in legible understandable language whichever is the local language of the people if your citizen if you are working in bengal and your citizen charter is not written in bengali uh, if it is written is for example in tamil then it won't be understandable so it is not useful for the citizens and that's why the language has to be understandable and the kind of service levels and standards to be expected all this has to be disclosed clear information about whom to approach in case of grievance there has to be one grievance redressal officer and his name has to be mentioned in the citizen charter ki if there is any grievance from the office regarding any kind of service delivery then you must go and contact this officer it makes it easier for people to get redressal for the grievances next uh, is that it should be accessible the the information of citizen charter it should be accessible it should be visible you can keep it available online you can keep it in office wherever some officer is seated uh, on his desk you can keep it and print it so that the citizen comes and sits and sees the citizen charter and also the officer sees it again and again and understands ki what he is expected to do there can be handbooks that can be distributed to citizens and there can be posters at conspicuous places where people can see it and understand ki what are the service delivery standards that i should expect from a particular public office finally there should be quick and consistent resolution for if you are setting a grievance mechanism or if you are setting a public uh, service delivery mechanism it has to be quick and it has to be consistent consistent in the sense if for every person in the same kind of situation there should be same kind of service delivery lastly it should resolve systemic problems systemic problems kya hote hain kaise kisi bhi system mein bahut sare problems hote hain for example there would be red tapism 
there would be delay in file movement from one office to another office so there would be uh, cases of bribery right so all these has to be resolved these are called systemic problems jo system mein problem hai that is systemic problem and that has to be resolved through citizen charter next character is citizen consultation citizen charter should have the provision for consultation of the citizen because it is not one way mechanism and in that users view and priority should be always considered ki user ko kya chahiye what does the citizen want from that office that should always considered and their opinion must be taken it is the responsibility of the citizen to be involved and cooperate next character is courteous the office must not be arrogant the officers must not be arrogant and they should understand that they are there for the service of the citizens and every official should have the service orientation and there should be may i help you counters for easy information delivery to the people for example railway station pe aap jate hain if you don't uh, uh, know when your train is coming you go to a may i help you counter and there you get your answers so that kind of counter should always be there and very clearly they should be said that this is the help desk finally the last character of citizen charter is grievance redressal without grievance redressal uh, any kind of service delivery is not efficient why because if there is a gap in service delivery then nobody is able to come and tell you that there is a gap and then you cannot improve that gap so grievance redressal becomes very important and access to the grievance officer like we discussed previously there should be a grievance officer and access to him should be easy ye nahi ki do teen logo se appointment leke and then you have to you are able to meet him he should be readily available to for people to meet and the procedure, procedure of grievance redressal should be very clear and very easy you do not uh, uh, ask for irrelevant information form filling and all that make it as simple as possible so that the grievance can be redressed so what are the objectives of citizen charter see we are studying about governance and this is part of good governance measure so objectives of citizen charter should be seen in that light what does it do it brings change in attitude of the public officer that means civil servant and also in the organization culture पूरे ऑर्गेनाइजेशन का वर्क कल्चर जो है चेंज हो जाता है सर्विस ओरिएंटेशन आ जाता है दे नाउ अंडरस्टैंड दैट देयर इफ दे रियली रियली रीड दिस इट इन स्टार्टर एंड अंडरस्टैंड इट दे रियलाइज दैट देयर प्राइमरी जॉब इज टू डिलीवर सर्विस दे आर नॉट डूइंग एनी फेवर टू सिटीजन बाय डूइंग बाय गिविंग देम सर्विस नेक्स्ट ऑब्जेक्टिव इज टू मेक गवर्नेंस एंड सर्विस डिलीवरी राइट बेस्ड राइट बेस्ड मीन्स इट इज द राइट ऑफ द सिटीजन to get that service not paternalistic approach not my bab culture right next transparency and accountability of course it's very important in good governance we uh, learned from the previous lecture if you have not seen the previous lecture please go and watch on my channel and then we have value for taxpayer should always be realized see the taxpayer is paying taxes to get good quality citizen services and if that is not given to him if good quality roads are not built if good quality bridges are not built if good health facilities are not available then the taxpayer loses faith ki main kyu hi tax de raha hu and the faith in governance reduces so if the taxpayer gets value for the, for his tax then the faith in governance increases and it has been seen in many countries that if public service delivery is good if the taxpayer thinks that his tax is being used properly then more and more people come and pay taxes final objective of citizens charter is the governance has to be very responsive to citizens citizen ka jo bhi problem hai usko instantly aap resolve karne ke liye taiyar rahe that is called responsive what is irresponsive government when somebody comes in for any kind of service and then he has to wait for unlimited time to get that delivery that service delivery that is irresponsive but responsive is about instant uh instant uh, action on the whatever the service is demanded
this is my bar now let's understand why citizen charter is not implemented well you and us as citizens uh, before reading through this lecture through this topic or, or or knowing this particular topic probably you may not have ever heard of citizen charter even though you have visited so many government offices so it clearly tells you that citizen charter mechanism has not been implemented well why say the the many of the times there are un, unrealistic and unachievable promises wo smart mein jo bola tha attainable a for attainable that is not there a lot of times bahut bade bade goals likh dete hain log and then it becomes irrelevant it's not uh, uh, it's not implementable so nobody cares next there is no force of law it is not mandatory by law to declare citizen charter and display to the public and inform them so that reduces a bit the seriousness of the citizen charter citizens are not involved more to, most of the time in formulation of the charter wo upar se aata hai and whatever the officer top officer thinks probably he puts it down and does not take the feedback from the citizens which, which makes it less effective then there is skepticism wo oh, there is no strong belief in in the effectiveness of citizen charter both from the bureaucracy side and citizen side they think it's just a set of sentences it doesn't mean anything it just promises which are meant to be broken so nobody takes it seriously there is also lack of awareness drive even if some office declares the citizen charter they do not create awareness drive for people to know ki what is citizen charter and how they can understand what kind of service delivery they should expect and what are the standards and many of the time it is misunderstood public officials think that this is some kind of dictate some kind of direction uh, imposed on them and citizens think that these are promises that are not to be kept so there are a lot of misunderstanding between both sides next is lack of internal or external monitoring or grievance redressal agar citizen charter implement ho raha hai ya nahi ho raha hai there is no way to monitor it or even uh, either internally or koi external monitoring agency bhi nahi hai jo bolega ki nahi you are not implementing citizen charter you must implement it nobody is there finally there is lack of training the even if there is citizen charter the officers are not trained as to how to deal with that those promises made in the citizen charter and often there is lack of empathy and lack of sense of duty so these are the reasons why citizen charter is not implemented well or it fails so how can we improve this thing how can we how can we improve this situation there are recommendations for it and that is my last slide here number 1 whatever goals you set in the citizen charter whatever promises you make they should be pragmatic means realistic i often use the pragmatic word in the international relation course also you will learn what is pragmatic it means realistic and achievable promises are to be made <clears throat> then another important keyword business process reengineering it's very important in businesses also and now the government is also adopting this concept what is business process reengineering or bpr it means that the way the business is done in your office the way files are handled the way files move the way citizen uh, gets to apply for a particular service you know the way information is disseminated the entire process of conducting the business of the office it has to be reengineered all the feedback has to be taken and all the loopholes has to be plugged and if there is drastic change needed in the structure of the office that has to be done so this whole change is called business process reengineering for example agar aapke if you see in your office there are multiple layers through which files are moving you remove couple of layers which are not important then the file moves faster or you can introduce e office where there is no physical file so nobody depends on the peon to get the file it is automatically transfer transferred from one office to another office via electronic medium next recommendation is staffing and proper training the staff has to there should be enough staff in the office to deliver uh, service efficiently and they have to be trained to understand to develop the empathy to develop service orientation user involvement which means citizen involvement is must they, sh they should be involved at each level even to understand what kind of service they expect 
to understand what kind of service delivery they expect and all these feedbacks and grievances have to be taken very seriously there should also be independent audit by some external person who audits whether the services are delivered in time and efficiently or not and whatever the audit report comes that audit report should be taken seriously and that has to be used to do continuous reforms in the process because any process is not perfect any time so it has to keep reforming simplifying complaint registration and redressal we learned that previously also that complaint registration and redressal has to be very simple the public officer has to be very accessible and the forms or whatever it is the way the person registers his complaint it has to be very simple finally there has to be wide publicity given if citizen charter is declared for example a police station is declaring citizen charter what kind of service delivery people should expect from the uh, place how fir has to be registered within what time the investigation has to be started all this kind of standards have to be set and if that is set that is to be widely publicized pamphlet distribution or uh, pasting printing and pasting in the very public places also in the offices outside the offices it should give, be given wide publicity if the citizens don't know that what is citizen charter or uh, what does it mean or whether there is any citizen charter then the whole thing becomes useless so it is very clear friends this is the citizen charter this is all you need to uh, understand this topic do not go and read any book not required this is good enough please like this video and share with other friends share on social media comment if you have any comment and please subscribe to the channel if you have not please watch my other videos and uh, i'll come up with more videos on this topic which is governance issues and many other topics thank you so much